the weather is starting to get warmer and that means you are likely trying to get outside more often, but injuries can hold you back. One common condition is bunions. According to the National Library of Medicine, it is estimated that one in three people over the age of 65 have bunions. So to talk about this more and what bunions is and the treatment options. I'm here with Dr. Jason Glover. He's a podiatrist at Rutherford Regional Medical Center. So thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Karen. It's good to be here. Thank you again. I think it's first important to help people understand what are bunions. So can you explain that? So a bunion, a lot of times people will describe it as a painful bump on the side of the big toe joint, but it's more complex than that. It's actually an angular deformity of the long bone behind the big toe joint from an unstable joint in the midfoot. Hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of like that bump that you see. That's right. Right there. Yep. Okay. And so, what are uh, what are some? Let's first start. What are the dangers if you ignore a bunion in your foot? You just think, oh, it's it's fine. It's just a little pain. This is a, a deformity that typically progresses. It will get bigger. It can alter your mechanics of the foot. It can um, deform other toes if it gets bigger. But it definitely, it, at times, it will progress and get larger. So it could get to the point where maybe you're just having some pain, but down the road, it could prevent you from walking, right? It could prevent you from walking, even wearing a comfortable shoe that you have bought to accommodate the, the, the deformity. So that's why it's so important to get treatment. So let's talk about the treatment options that are out there for people. Sure, so conservative treatment options, we always start with that. It's wearing a wider shoe, maybe finding a shoe that's softer, softer leather, softer cloth that will not put as much pressure on the bump that's sticking out. Wearing some padding to uh, pad the prominent bone. Um, sometimes people will buy a bunion splint. It'll keep the toe straight as you're wearing it. But whenever you take that off, the bunion comes back, the toe will drift over, so it's not a permanent correction. So what would be a permanent correction? So there's over 100 different ways to fix a bunion. Um, if you have so many different ways to fix a bunion, you know there's been a lot of dissatisfied patients, outcomes, and even doctors. Mm -hmm. The lipoplasty is a newer technique mm -hmm. that addresses the, the unstable joint where the bunion comes from, the, the root cause of the bunion. The tra traditional procedures, they're two dimension procedures. I think the best way to think about it is, is a leaning tower. Mm. If you have a tower that's leaning, you don't cut it down the middle and shift it over to straighten it up. You work at the foundation. So the lipoplasty targets the foundation to get it straight, then everything below it straightens up. And I actually interviewed one of your patients who had that procedure done. So if anybody wants to see that, that's on foxcarolina.com. But yeah, she said she really liked the procedure because it was pretty seamless, uh, less invasive, and um, she was able to get back to hiking, which was something she was very passionate about, uh, hiking all the time and going, you know, in the beautiful mountains of the Blue Ridge. Sure. So. Yeah, it is a surgical procedure. Uh, there's less downtime as opposed to other traditional procedures. People are generally walking right away, maybe walking on their heel, and I progress them in a walking boot for two, for three or four weeks after that. So there's no long-term cast or crutches. Mm, that's good to know. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, probably the best advice is to talk with your doctor if you do think you have a bunion on one foot or maybe both, uh, and then your doctor can probably suggest the best option of treatment for you. So thank you so much, Dr. Glover, for joining yep. us today. Thank and you. Again, if you have a bunion, don't ignore it. It could get worse. Go out there and get some treatment.